The Nigerian police force has flagged off a 200,000 motorcycles acquisition scheme for personnel within its rank and file cadre. Representing checks to the first set of beneficiaries at the force headquarters in Abuja, Inspector General of Police Mohamed Ademu said the gesture is aimed at improving their welfare and condition of service. He, however, warned on need to abide by the terms and condition of the scheme. We have prioritized the promotion of police officers. We've executed affordable housing scheme for junior officers of the force. We facilitated the provision of loans at affordable interest rates and delivered tricycles as empowerment, amongst others. Today's event marks another milestone in our effort to put the welfare personnel of the force in the front burner. It is my singular honor to flag up the 200,000 units of motorcycle acquisition scheme to members of the Nigeria Police Force. In doing so, the beneficiaries are advised to make judicious use of this opportunity and ensure that they abide by the terms and conditions of the package. Earlier in his remarks, the Assistant Inspector General of Police, in charge of Cooperative Aminu Sali, who said over 2,500 police personnel has so far shown interest in the scheme, also used the occasion to share relevant information on how it can be accessed. The law which comes with a long repayment period of up to three and a half years is a strategic inclusion to the IGP's welfare program that attracts zero processing fee and only considers two factors, which include being a member of the Nigerian Police Multipurpose Cooperative Society and a job stability as guaranteed by the IGP income and debt to income ratio. And this is to be done only on the required, the following required information. Contact details, valid means of identification, in this case police ID, salary payslip, loan application to be signed by the command finance officers of the applicants, and details of witness of key, and of course appropriate number of years. The scheme is being spearheaded by the Nigerian Police Cooperative Multipurpose Society in collaboration with Roadshed Global Resources. CNN News.